Good morning, everybody. It's Sally, and I'm here greenlighting my morning with the topic for myself, my own personal reflection on change and how I deal with change, how I used to deal with change, what change really is. And it all started because of a meme that I saw this morning that was something I had not seen before. I love things. They're like, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words. Well, sometimes a meme is worth a thousand words. I mean, there's lots of things you can extrapolate out of a meme if they have enough memeing to them. <laughs> Meaning. You, you guys know where I was going with that, right? Yeah, can you tell it's a good morning? <laughs> this is the meme I saw this morning on a, on a site called Growing Boulder, which is for us senior types, quasi-senior types. Maybe never going to be a senior type. Um, and it says simply this. I'll show it to you. I'll put the link below, but I'll show it to you. Let's see if I can get so that I know that you're seeing it. See the ballerina? Yeah. The only way to make sense out of change is to plunge into it, move with it, and join the dance. By Alan Watts. Yeah. The only way to make sense out of change, that's the key word, to make sense out of change is to plunge into it, move with it, and join the dance. I love that because, and obviously I loved it because I wrote a big blurb about it on my Facebook page, and I'm going to read you this and I'm going to talk about it a little bit. I might as well move you down here so you can see me straight on while I'm reading it to you. I'll hold you right here. Okay. Change. It happens. So why not really stop and assess how you react to it? I love this thought. I struggled with change from my early childhood. I seemed to need familiarity for a sense of security. I was traumatized when my mother would move the furniture around in the living room or the time she cut her hair from long and she always wore it in a bun on the back of her neck to a modern 1960s version of what women were wearing in that day. I am not that same child. With age, we must grow or petrify inside. I have learned you can't fight it. Change happens. It is a part of the nature of things. Making sense of change and how to live into it is different, is different than acquiescing or folding, sighing, looking back, becoming bitter. Glide into the dance, my friends, for your own peace. That's what I wrote. I really like that, and I'll tell you why. Change. I hated change as a child. I didn't like it. I, w I think it would just unnerved me. I, I didn't know what was stable, what I could have my, my solid footing on as a child. I don't know where that came from. Um, I can guess different things in my household dynamic. Um, but I was, I really rather clung to the familiar for that sense of nest, that sense of place and my place in the universe in that stage set of the life of my childhood home it, between the characters and the, the space. But as we grow, I mean, the reality is change happens. You know, they say shit happens, change happens. Change is as, as, as unchangeable as anything else you can think of. Change is always occurring because nature is always growing, unfolding, and we are nature. We are natural beings. So life happens, and it's complicated, and it's messy. But you can either dig your heels in and say, hell no, I won't go, or you can know when to fold them and know when to hold them. And that's not always giving up and giving in and rolling over. It's realizing that some things we have no control over. Most things we have no control over, and things can change and shift. And for us to grow and not get stuck and petrify and tighten up inside and try to control in a sick, twisted way our own environment and the people in our lives and the choices that they make, 
we have to know that it's coming and to sort of just step in. We've got to work on our releasing abilities, our Yes, this is not maybe what I would want in my best case thought of what I wish things could be, but at the same time, I'm more in tune enough. I'm in tune enough. I'm mature enough. I am whole enough to go, I don't like this so much. I don't like this at all. I dang well hate this. However, I know it is what it is. Or you can not do the hate thing if you don't need to. You certainly don't have to go there unless it's the last ditch thing you've got to release. But you can give voice to whatever it is you're feeling, struggling with about letting go and realize for your peace of mind, not that it changes the scenario you wish wasn't changing, because that's impossible, but for your peace of mind and your peace of spirit, to accept the flow of life, accept the flow and shift and change of things around you, and learn how to plunge in. At least stick your toe in the water. There's that water. It might be a little cold, but you can stick your toe in it just a little, and then you can glide your foot deeper and a little more into the water, a little more, a little more, and then you might just, it's like sitting on the edge of the swimming pool, you might just slip right in. Um, I hope any of you that struggle with change like I did, uh, I want to encourage you because it's not impossible to change your perception in the way you deal with change and be able to even move from resistance to um, joining in and moving with to actually embracing embracing that life is new every morning nature is new and ever shifting humanity is new and ever shifting love is a solid foundation and yet it is even changing things change it's the nature of life life is not static Life is not hunched, petrified, and stiff. It is not static. So go with the flow, friends. Let change happen and learn how to deal with it, maybe in a healthier way than you have before.